So I've been out filming the filming locations for the devil all the time. And while I was out doing that, we ran into a small town below Birmingham, but above Montgomery, that's called Calera, Alabama. And we stumbled across this amazing like train depot here that I never knew existed. I thought I would just take the time here today and walk around and check out all these really cool old trains in the area. You know, if this is not your thing, you can always just stop here and come back tomorrow, but I find this stuff fascinating myself. At the time of filming today, it's a Sunday. So unfortunately, we stumbled through here on a day when this is closed. This is the Heart of Dixie Railroad Museum gift shop. So we won't be able to like go in, but uh, supposedly from everything that we can tell, if you come like during business hours, you can actually get on a train and ride some tracks and you can get on a lot of these trains that's out here and like go in and, and explore them. But because we're here on a day that they're closed, I will only be able to walk around and see the outsides of these things. But look at these old cars, man. This old Eagle car here. Being, there's an old uh, Long Island cart behind it there. And then some open air cars behind it. It would be really, really super cool to ride in this Eagle cart here. Here's a Santa Fe chair car. It was one of 34 cars ordered by the Santa Fe Railway Company in 1948 to be built by the Pullman Standard Car Company of Chicago. They were delivered in 1950. It was ordered by Santa Fe for use on their premium all-coach train, the El Capitan. This train ran between Chicago and Los Angeles. The car ran on the Santa Fe until 1971 when it was turned over to Amtrak. The museum bought the car from Amtrak in 1982. Today, the car has had its seats removed and serves as a space for birthday parties and other events here. So you can even come have a birthday party or something here inside of this uh, sweet old Santa Fe Pullman rail car. They have it sitting on tracks and everything out here. And see, you can get on and take this and it'll take you on around back through the woods there. Looks like here's another one over here. Clara and Shelby. I'm wanting to see what this bright yellow car here is in front of us that's what i'm trying to get up here to see this looks super cool chicago and northwestern is what it says so cool it's got some massive doors here looks like they're automatic so this must be uh fairly newer cart and then just some Pullman passenger cars there behind it it's been a long time since I just made like uh, one of these exploration type videos you know everything that I've done for as far back I can remember now ha has had some kind of theme to it everything was true crime or filming location or some specific topic. I, I just stumbled across it and uh, wanted to film it. And it's been a long time since I've done one of these type videos. Every, most of everything I do here lately has been true crime. Not quite sure. Looks like some kind of maze here that they've gotten built out of pallets. And this is obviously a smaller kitty railroad here. Here lies John Luther Casey Jones, the brave engineer, gone to glory April 30th, 1900. 
his legs and feet are sticking out the bottom of it and there's his hat there at the top <laughs> that's funny that's hilarious oh that's a bridge so as soon as you board your train over here to get going you immediately cross over an old train bridge cool if you watched my last video on the filming locations for the movie the devil all the time i was in montevallo filming those locations and as i left montevallo i stumbled across this place so i have stopped everything right in the middle of it to share to uh, film this and share with you so after i leave here i'm going to be going to the final locations on our uh, filming locations video so just to give you a little bit of a timeline as to when this was filmed compared to that it says it's uh the shelby and southern narrow gauge steam railroad there that looks like the the kitty track there's rail cars everywhere here this is just super cool I find this to be very fascinating. Right there in the window of the gift shop, there's a Thomas the Tank Engine. This is like a, an interesting locomotive that I am not familiar with. I don't know that I've seen, ever seen one like that before. It's like very bubbly. Birmingham Southern Railroad Company there on this one and they it looks like they've got these interchangeable here they're still on track so they can move them around and swap them out as often as they want these old rail buggies here look at this old southern caboose in front of us this is at the end of those open cars this is this is the actual one that you can ride on and apparently it heads in over that bridge and through the woods and it apparently goes pretty far out silver maple on this one I'll have to look that up but apparently it goes pretty far out because you know the tracks come in from over here so there's an old caboose sitting over here all by its lonesome Handbrake lube tested, it says there on the back. Burlington Northern. This one's open enough that we can. This looks like a lot. This looks uh, almost exactly like the one we rode in West Virginia. Which I didn't film that video though. That was, that was before I started filming videos, so. I didn't film it but Amy and Lillian Parker and I rode a train an authentic steam locomotive in West Virginia many years back now and it looked exactly like that there's one over here all by lonesome I'm I always wondered how they move these things, man. You know, these rail cars are all are heavy as crap. And when they get ready to display it, they've got to lay the gravel and the wood and then lay the beams, get them all tied down. And then they've got to get the cart onto it somehow. Do they... Ooh, this is a military vehicle united states air force oh sweet strategic air command that's amazing do not hump or rough handle sensitive equipment impact recorder installed wow wow that is cool but but how did they get it here on the tracks? Do they have some kind of giant crane that can lift? How many ever tons this vehicle is? And uh, 
they come raise it up or did they have to build tracks out and then they just rolled it they hooked up to a train and rolled it in how i just wonder how they get it over here on this long set of tracks there's some stairs leading up to a door here with a window maybe we can see inside these stairs don't feel very sturdy i hope they hold Looks like it's just bare, man, empty. There's nothing else in there. Dang it. I thought it, I was thinking it might have some kind of sensitive old uh, military equipment in it from the Strategic Air Command of the Air Force. I don't think I'm really supposed to be over here. But because they're closed, that gives me a little somewhat of an opportunity to walk around and explore unimpeded all right so we've gotten these trains now and we've gotten this one in the caboose we have all these trains over here on the other side to check out here's an old steam train Every time I see one of these steam trains, I think of Back to the Future Part 3. Every time. Look at all those massive rivets in this thing, man. And that boiler. Jesus. There's a whole ton of them missing too, but there's still a ton there. Built in 1924 for the Battison Hatton Lumber Company. Yes, wow. I'm surprised they let you up here in it. Wow. Look how big these rivets are. And then here's your boiler here. They would toss the logs in, and this is probably a crank here to go. It won't move though, they've got it locked. Here's where they would have kept the firewood. Wild. Ooh. Caboose here. A caboose with a rooftop cupola. Yelling in. Here's a Southern Railway Wreck Crane Idler Car. So I guess it had some kind of crane on it at some point. This one is just the bottom of a cart here that doesn't have anything else on it. Here's another coach. Ooh, this one says Amtrak, and it has seen better days, man. It has seen better days. Dixie Railroad Museum. I didn't even see these from the other side. I didn't even know these were here. Oh, here's a giant crane. Speaking of which, I hear a train coming. It's a rolling around the bend. 
Too old, but this is different. This is a, an old crane car here that still has the crane attached. Uh, here's part of this old engine, some burnt up wood there. This used to be like a workhorse, I bet. like a massive, massive torque converter there. The seat was made out of wood and they had the controls right there near him. And he probably faced out this direction. Yeah. Louisville, Nashville baggage car, 1551. Built in 1949 as a post office car. Oh, wow. This car delivered mail. Louisville, Nashville. What caught my eye, this one's the Southern. That's the one up here right past the Southern. It caught my eye and I wanted to come over here by it. Now it looks super, super old and rusty. Lord knows how long a car has to have been in operation or just alive to have the metal eat, eaten through like that. Looks like it had wooden bars on the windows at one point, but United States Mail Railway Post Office on the side of it. And up top it says Baltimore and Ohio. This is super cool inside. You can still see the post, the mail post boxes in there. And then it's got all these hooks for like bags or packages and stuff like that. And then more boxes up here. But those are all the post boxes inside of the car there that still in there to this day. How crazy is that? There's somebody down here who's climbed up on top of one of the trains. Oh, and then people always have to come and deface stuff. Central baggage, look at that lettering. That's so cool. Illinois Railway Express Agency. Man, this place is awesome. You know, what would be really neat is if you could come do like a paranormal investigation in some of these carts in the middle of the night. That would be fun. Look at this, Model 15 Burrow, Chicago, Illinois. And that's a newer one. Okay, so I bet this is what they use to move the carts on the tracks. This one here, because it's newer. And then they do have a crane sitting here too, I guess they could use MTA, New York City Transit. Wow. I guess they bought this at an auction or something. But see the boom there that extends out? So I guess they probably could lift some of these cars up if that crane is strong enough. This uh, United States Mail Post Office car here is just super amazing to see. That's old, really old. I don't know how old. There's not a placard to tell you, but that's crazy. Here's a Louisville, Nashville mail car. And I think if you come during, like I said, operating hours, you can get up there on it. See, it's just a solid steel door there now. 
and this is an Air Force car here, just like the one we saw over by the other side. Strategic Air Command. This old asbestos paint peeling off here. Whew, I'm exhausted. All this climbing. New gauges, electrical box over there in the corner. Hydraulics, cool. There's the insides of steam locomotive there. Something's happened. I hear sirens. But I've been hearing them for a minute. Sounds like they're getting closer to me. So whatever it is is somewhere nearby. Ooh. The police. Oh, somebody's tried to pry this door up, man. I don't know, the cops might be coming here for those people who were up on top and looks like they may have tried to pry them doors open. It would be fun to spend the night in a few of these old rail cars and uh, do some paranormal investigating. I can only imagine that. I mean, I, I could imagine that would probably be a lot of fun. And you could probably get some good results from here. This is it. If you're ever in the Calera, Montevallo, Birmingham area. Anyway, I think we've just about seen it all. So that's going to do it for this random uh, spur of the moment video here today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this kind of stuff as much as I do, put it in the comments below and let me know. Thank you all. If you're new here, go down, hit that subscribe button, then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. If you're interested in helping support my channel, you can check out the links down in the description box below. You know, thank you. I can't thank you enough for watching these videos. I'll see you again tomorrow. Please stay safe and stay healthy. All of you. I've got to finish this filming locations video. So I got to get going.